Hi everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skin Care. Today we're going to talk about patch tests. Why are they important, what to patch test, and how to do them. What's a patch test? A patch test is basically taking an ingredient or some substance and you're going to test it on a patch of skin. Uh, this is really, really to help you be more comfortable and safe when you're using different skincare, different skincare products. And it's important to do patch tests because a lot of formulas can have a lot of ingredients that you've never been exposed to. So if this is something new for you, it's always, I think, wise, especially if you have sensitive skin, especially if it's like a really strange kind of ingredient or it's known to be an aggressive ingredient, it's really important to do a little bit of a patch test. So how we usually recommend uh, doing a patch test is I really like using my forearm, okay? So the this part of my arm, I'll take some of the product that I'm, you know, going to use on my face. So before using it, for example, on your face and then getting a huge reaction, and that used to happen to me when I was younger, when I had really problematic skin, I would even just put, you know, water or say I would put some kind of, you know, anything on my skin. Sometimes, you know, you'd make a little mixture and put it on. I would end up with like a mark and a burn and that would last for weeks and weeks and weeks because my skin was overreacting to everything. It wasn't accepting it. So I learned to patch test because otherwise I would be riddled with marks and scars. So sensitivity is a huge issue. And if you are sensitive, it's important to patch test. If you are experimenting and using a lot of products, it's important to patch test. So what I would do and what I recommend is um, to use your forearm. Why this area? This area is very, very sensitive. It usually reacts quicker, okay? So you do a bit of a, you, on that area, you'd put some of the product and leave it there for 10 to 20 minutes. As a rule of thumb, if nothing has happened, if it's completely uneventful for 20 minutes, chances are you're going to be okay. You're not allergic to it, right? So that's really important. And that's a good first check, right? I'm not allergic to it. I can go ahead and try to use it. The next thing is try on an area, say it's something for your face, try a little bit closer to your face, the back of your neck, for example, and try there and leave it a little bit longer. If it's an ingredient that, or a product that is meant to, you know, exfoliate or peel or cause some kind of shedding, chances are it is an aggressive product and the 20 minutes is gonna tell you or determine that you're not allergic to it, but the longer patch test, like a little bit overnight or following the directions, if they say, you know, leave it on the skin maximum X number of minutes, um, that's going to, you do that once, you know, a day or two um, in a row, that's going to determine how sensitive you are to that actual formula itself. Not necessarily an allergy reaction, but just how is it going to perform on you. So it's really important to be able to be successful and not have these awful side effects or things that could actually scar you. It's really important to have these patch tests. So patch testing is very useful and it's something that you can do very easily on yourself or if you're, um, you know, what kind of ingredients should you patch test? I personally always patch test any kind of natural product because natural is such a wild card uh, in, in, in the science world, in the ingredient world, because a lot of ingredients that we think, you know, essential oils or plant extracts, we think, well, they've gotta be good because they're natural. They're really, really, you know, very interesting. So not, they don't agree with everybody and they don't play really well with everyone. So I tend to patch test those and also fragrances. I patch test those as well, just a little bit. I wait 15, 20 minutes. So if you know, for example, you have certain kind of allergies um, or sensitivity patch test those even if you're switching brands and you say well I use this kind of uh, retinol I should be okay with this other company even then do a quick little patch test 15 20 minutes could really change the outcome and your experience with your skincare and your beauty routine I hope you enjoyed our discussion on patch testing I look forward to your questions and comments talk to you soon